curious, uh, what was so appealing to you about Mississippi State over other schools or even major baseball? Uh, great tradition. You, know, you got Rafael Palmeiro who came from my hometown, you know, from a little, from a little town from Miami. You know, you could have went to the University of Miami, you know. It just it stood out to me. You know, I see a guy who came here from my hometown, it's kind of special, you know. He came here on my visit, it was very special. You know, I felt at home, I felt impacted on how much did that aspect of Rafael Palmeiro play? You know, as you, you, know, you kind of mentioned a couple times, how much did that play in your consider? A lot. You know, for a guy to come from a small town who barely knew how to speak English for a year, to do what he did is very special. You know, it takes a lot of heart, a lot of dedication. So it's to that, it really helped my decision. You know, it just proves to how people start to how they need it. You know, no matter who you are, they're going to bring you in. They're going to accept it from what was it about Mississippi, or how much did you weigh Major League Baseball as well, obviously being drafted by the Reds? Uh, you know, the whole draft process, you know, was tough, you know. But um, I, when it came down to it, you know, Mississippi State was my first choice, you know. It's, like I said, it's a great tradition, right? You know, I wanted to feel that. You know, when we walked up, Palmero came here and he had a lot of success, you know. I wanted to come here and try to win and have success. Have you ever talked to Rafael Palmero? I mean, how no, I, I, no, I haven't. I haven't talked to him. I just... I just like the way, you know, how he came in here and he did what he did. Being from Miami, did you look up to him as when he was playing as a kid or I mean who? No, I didn't get to really, I didn't really look up to him, you know, because uh, him and my dad actually played with each other for one year okay. for, for the Orioles, so, you know, so I got to watch him play. But, no, other than that, we haven't really talked about What's it like growing up in major league clubhouses? I mean, what, what's that like as a kid? <laughs> it's, it's really fun, let me tell you. Um, not many kids get to experience that. So it's from watching 162 games, from traveling from uh, state to state. Um, the best part about it is the postseason. I've been there when my dad's won a division, almost gone to the World Series, and nothing can get a better feeling. You get a taste of what it is to be successful. You almost get there. Is there a memory that sticks out? 